guys, so we are here today to partake in the debt-free future tag. So I was tagged by E. Michelle like last week to do this video. She did not think that I was going to do the video, which I probably was not, except on my really long list of videos to film for YouTube. There's one about um, that I wanted to invite him to to just talk about our debt-free journey and this and that and all of that. So, therefore, we are going to be doing the challenge or the tag or whatever. So, if you would like to see the rest of this video, then please keep watching. Okay, so there are a series of questions. There are five questions, you know, regarding the tag. So, we're going to try to touch on all of them. We're also going to be, you know, going a little bit more into detail because, again, I did want to film a video like this. So, we're going to definitely answer the questions. And we're going to talk a little bit more about, you know, what it is that I had planned for us to talk about in a video such as this. So, he has the question. Question number one. When did you start your debt-free journey? And I'd say it was, what, sometime around, it was June 2017. Um, we, just, we just realized we needed to be more responsible with our finances and we started attacking debt heavily and we just continued and we're about eight months in we are and so we started in june and um in june we paid off about four thousand dollars worth of debt and that consisted of all four of my credit cards and the total of all of that was about three thousand we also put minimum payments on student loans and then his credit cards and um, my car and stuff like that. So we decided to attack, attack our debt using the snowball mm -hmm. method. The reason why we attacked mine first was because all four of mine had a balance of anywhere between like seven to eight hundred ish dollars, and so they had the lower balances. And so it was just much much easier for us to just knock all of those out and then proceed with paying kids off. So we started fresh in July, and we did the exact same thing. We paid off four thousand dollars ish worth of debt. He had two credit cards with balances of about $1,500, so $3,000 as well. And then we put the minimum payments on my car and student loans and stuff like that. So between June and July, we paid off about $8,000 worth of debt. And after we paid that off, it was so liberating. And it really gave us a little bit of confidence to kind of just continue the journey. So when we started, we weren't sure that we were going to be... Um, continuing at the rate that we're continuing we were just like let's get rid of these credit cards i remember coming home or him coming home or something like that and i was telling him these credit cards have got to go because this is what i always tell people when we were single his two credit cards and my four which someone else actually managed one of mine wasn't like a big deal but when we got married and combined our finances at the beginning of last year because we got married in november 2016 um, it just was like, whoa, <laughs> with his student loans, with my student loans, with my car, he didn't have a car loan, he's never had a car loan, but all of that, we were just like, we gotta, like, it's time, and, and that's how we started, and so that's what we did in June and July, and so in August, we saved money, in September we saved money, because we thought we wanted to start sinking funds, and we also thought that we wanted to add more money to our emergency fund, which we did do, but then... In October, we decided that we wanted to have my car paid off by the end of the year. So we started in October with a $13,000 balance on my car. We paid off, I think, about $3,000 in October, November, and December from our regular income. So like $9,000-ish. And then the rest of that came from that excess amount in our emergency fund and almost all of the sinking funds. So that's what happened in December. So rolling into 2018... We were what I would like to call consumer debt free. It's pretty different definitions on what consumerism is or what constitutes consumer debt. But I think that our student loans aren't like strictly consumerism. So anyway, we just kind of wanted to be consumer debt free by the end of 2017. And we were. So going into this year, our goal was to pay off his student loans. And so we've had to stop a little bit because... And um, we owe the IRS a significant amount of money, which we have good news, which he's going to share the good news about that whole IRS deal. Good news is we've, um, well, we found out we'll, we owe the IRS $4,000, and that's how much we've saved up over the past, what, two, two months? months? And they know that because in January and February, you guys know that we saved, we kind of saved all that we could with me going to the Bahamas and me going 
here and there and everywhere and we saved pretty much all that we could and so that was and we had lower income those months as well so the 2000 ish that we saved was pretty good and that was exactly how much we needed to pay off the IRS so we're pretty much good with the IRS and all of that and what's interesting is as of right now to date since June 2017 we've paid off do you know how much money we've paid off how much debt we've paid off including the IRS because that's a debt I mean technically twenty eight thousand about twenty eight thousand dollars worth of debt and that's actually how much he has left on his student loans which brings us to our next question How long do you think it will take you to become debt free? If you are comfortable doing so, briefly share what your current debt consists of. How long do you think it will take to pay off your $28,000 worth of credit, student loan debt? All we have is student loans. He has student loans. I have student loans. How long do you think it will take you to pay that off? Us to pay that off? Well, what? My student loans? Mm -hmm. Um, well. My original goal was to have it paid off by September, which is when my birthday is. Mine too. Um, but we just found out about the tax thing and we just did that. So, um, I think it'll take October, give another month. You know, a push, month? Yeah, push it back another month. It's, if we start in March, so March, to speak, so March, March, April, April May. Well, I was starting in like. April, because sure. I, I wouldn't think April, 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 May, June, July, August, September, October, seven months. I'm going to seven. I'd say by the end of this year, which is crazy because it's already March. So this year is flying by. I would say by the end of this year, we should have our yeah, I, I say definitely, by, the end definitely by December. We should have his student loans paid off and then we'll reevaluate our plan again because our plan just consists of whatever we want it to be. You guys know that we do. Well, I don't want to say we because I'd be a bold-faced lie. I enjoy um, kind of taking advice from Dave Ramsey or just seeing what he has to say about different things. And even other financial people out there, I also like to read on what they say about this and that and the third because I, I think it would be unwise to just, you know, be told one thing or learn just this and kind of just go with it without doing my own investigation. So... Um, we are kind of doing the Dave Ramsey plan, but really we just kind of whatever we feel like doing is what we do. And so right now we are feeling like attacking my husband's student loans and getting them out of the way, which then he would be debt free. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So that's what we're going to be focusing on whenever we get back to paying off debt, either this month in March or by April for sure. So, um, yeah, that's what we're planning to do. And, um, Yes, I already told you what our current debt consists of, and that is student loans. He has a bachelor's degree, I have a master's degree, and so between all of those years of schooling, we have a lot of student loan debt. Well, not a lot of student loan debt, but um, a decent amount of student loan debt. So, anyway, what's question number three? Question number three. Do you plan to celebrate or reward yourself once you are debt-free? If so, how? And I guess it's kind of like question number four. What does your debt-free future look like? How will your life change once you're debt-free? So let's, it's kind of different. So maybe let's do three. Do you plan to celebrate or reward yourself once you're debt-free? If so, how? So first of all, we've been rewarding ourselves all of the while. We have a little personal money that we get each month. And I've gone on a few trips here and there. And those are kind of just little small things that keep us motivated. I see no reason whatsoever to sacrifice everything and struggle or be not feeling as happy to pay off debt. I don't see how that could possibly work or why. I know for sure it wouldn't probably work for us. I don't even want to try it. So we've always just given ourselves small things like a couple of months in after we finished paying off our credit cards, I actually went to Puerto Rico, which was a trip that was planned before. And he went, you know, he got a PlayStation 4 and we haven't really done much celebrating really since then. But um, we've been doing small little things here and there this whole time. So what are you, what's your answer? Um, well, I'm not really a big spender, like she said. Um, but I do plan on balling out um, once I'm debt free. Um... I plan on going to the Super Bowl, you know, starting sinking funds or, you know, 
buy and tickets everywhere, game sevens, championship games, you know, just going places, traveling, um, and yeah, just not having a care in the world and just, you know, if I want to go there, I'm there. So my debt-free future looks like Bora Bora. It has Bora Bora written all over it. Actually, <laughs> Bora Bora is something that I want to do like soon. I mean, I'm sure I won't, and I, I definitely won't. Not a, not until his student loans are paid off for sure. But I pretty much already planned a trip to Bora Bora, and I'm going to get back to traveling. Um, that's pretty much what I spent my money on my whole life. That's why I pretty much have student loan debt and did not attack my student loan debt. Because I was out traveling and doing this and that and the third, but I'm gonna be getting back to traveling. You see more of my videos. <laughs> this one wants to go to like every Super Bowl, every football, every basketball game. He loves sports, and he's already been talking about how to start a sinking fund so that he can go to the Super Bowl every year and how much money we need to put in a sinking fund and all of this stuff. So I guess he's gonna have. I guess we're gonna have big, huge. Our debt free future looks like a big, huge. Um, sinking fund for travel and it's going to probably have a good amount of money in there I guess. Another thing that I was thinking about is how will life change once you're debt free? So I guess I guess we kind of just answered that question. Um, I can't imagine life will tr change like drastically. I mean it'll it's changed right now. It's going to go back to normal. My normal is his traveling and this and that so it's gonna go back to normal once I'm debt free right now my life has changed for me I don't know what about yeah, you I, I don't really he's not a spender yeah. so yeah I can imagine his life will change drastically you guys know that we rent we don't have a mortgage or anything so unless you're talking about when we're mortgage debt free our life will change for sure because we won't have to pay a rent or a mortgage or for housing but yeah, I mean, I feel like the change is taking place right now. I don't know. That's just me. Anyway, what's the next question? What lessons will you pass along to your, ch to your children or future children regarding money and debt? Um, well, I'd say, you know, just the core principles. Um, um, don't spend more than you actually have and um, how to build, how to save, you know, just things like that. Well, we don't have kids. And we have not learned everything that we want to learn about um, managing money. What are, I guess that's what the question was. So, I mean, as whatever we learn and as we continue to learn and all of that, I mean, that's, you know, pretty much what we're going to teach our child. Everything that we know, I, I mean, just to save money and don't overspend and have a, create a budget every month and... All of that good stuff. Maybe so that's, no credit cards. Yeah, maybe no credit cards. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever we learn. After we've learned everything that we've learned, that's what we will teach our child. I feel like I can't teach them much right now. Or like, I don't know what... I don't know, because I'm still learning. That's how I feel about that. So, anyway, those are our answers to those questions. And a little bit more, of course. If you guys have any other further questions, let us know. And I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in. Oh, this one says he is doing another plan with me. So uh, I guess he might be seeing you in the next video. Oh, and we're giving something away. We have to get our giveaway book over there. So we are going to be giving away this monthly budget planner. And I reviewed this on my channel um, a couple of days ago and it's a pretty solid planner. You want to flip through it really briefly and show them. <laughs> you're, you're out of frame, but it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to be giving this away. The giveaway is going to end Friday. Today is Tuesday, so it's going to go for three days. Whenever this video goes up, then the giveaway will be on, and it will run again until this Friday, which will be March the 9th, and it will end at 11.59 p.m. So you guys should already know the rules and regulations. The rules are, number one, be subscribed. Number two, leave a random number between 1 and 8,000. 
and leave a comment because who two people may choose the same number or three people or four people or whatever and I'm going to need to be able to choose between the two so really who's ever if there are multiple people who pick the name num who pick the same number whoever's comment resonates with me the most is going to be the winner of course you guys should know the rules of this by now um and again this ends friday march the 9th at 11 59 p.m my goal is to pick a number by saturday so i can put this planner in the mail it is open to anyone in the world so if you're not in the united states that's fine this isn't going to be that expensive to send overseas because it's just a little book a little i mean it's paperback and everything so I don't care where you are in the world, you're free to enter the giveaway. The giveaway ends Friday. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys.